Hey, Renee. Hey, sis. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for inviting your followers. Hello, it's, hey Celeste, how are you? Hey everyone, thank you guys so much for joining. I'm about to drop this in here. Woo, yes. Hey Daphne, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. Just um, getting some pork ready. I got my mise en place together here. I got some... Hey, hey, love, how are you? I got some minced garlic, some uh, green scallions, green onions. I got some regular white onion and some carrots. And I'm going to, hey, how you doing? Thanks for joining. I'm going to make some quick Chinese food tonight. I'm not exactly sure which sauce I'm going to use tonight, but we will use something yummy. I think I might do some black garlic black bean sauce. I'm not sure sounds good to me or I may not just do that at all I might just do some sesame oil I haven't figured it out yet but <laughs> but um I have some steamed white rice here yes I've already got that together and so now it's just time to get the the pork everything nice and seared and you know golden brown and delicious that's what we're trying to achieve right now. And I had a super, super hot pan, so I kind of just dropped it in there so I can get everything nice and hot. Let me turn this around so I can introduce myself. My goodness. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let me clean that off. That might work a little better. Hey, thank you guys so much for joining. You have just stepped into Sharon's dinner show. Thank you guys so much for being here. I am Sharon. Yes, and I've been cooking and baking for 20 years, and I absolutely love it. Tonight I'm doing quick homemade Chinese food. Just super fresh ingredients that speak for themselves. And, you know, we're going to top it with a little bit of white jasmine rice tonight, which is, you know, like, that's what they do. Like, yummy, yummy dish with lots of fruit and vegetables. And then they top it on some wonderful white steamed rice. And that's what we're going to be doing this evening. I already have my pork getting nice and golden brown. I have everything already ready. So we're just, this is going to be a super quick thing. If you have any questions, drop them down in the co comment area. If you haven't already, please swipe and invite your followers. I really appreciate it. Hello, everybody on Twitter land. Thank you guys so much. And hi, replay viewers. I really appreciate that you decided to come onto my show. Thank you. So let me hook you guys up here to my little doohickey thing. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so like I said, our pork is doing some wonderful things. Um, that was just a quick season. I did um, just salt and pepper, um, a little bit of um, ground ginger, although you can definitely use um, fresh. Um, I kind of ran out of fresh, so I have to use my ground. This is usually what I use for my, my baking and everything like that. So. We're doing that tonight. Oh, and then I also used um, a one or two cloves of garlic in with my pork. And I dredged it, and I'm using a little bit of flour. But you can definitely use um, cornstarch. Cornstarch is a lot better. It doesn't get... Lakitha, thanks for coming. Hi, delightful dessert. Thank you so much for joining. Um, sometimes, like, the flour can get a little gummy and everything like that. But the cornstarch is something that works really, really well. Everything sticks to my wok, too low of heat maybe. Yes, absolutely. And that is the absolute reason. If you are using a wok, the wok needs to get up to a super hot temperature. You, um, if you've ever, like, observed, like, Chinese food cooking in, like, a Chinese food, like, you know, restaurant, they use super high heat. And it's a quick thing. It's not like, oh, well, they're going to turn it on, like, low, and they're going to let it gradually get up there, like... That is good for, you know, making everyday foods, but not wok cooking. Wok cooking, yes, deserves high heat. So it's a quick situation. And it doesn't, it's not a prolonged situation. I hope you understand. But yes, that's definitely would be the issue. Also, too, your pan also may not be. Um, thank you so much for posting on Twitter, Miss Rising Star, my Renee. Um, also, your pan your wok may not be seasoned so I would in um, if it's especially if it's like a metal wok or anything like that 
go ahead and season it. How do you season your pan? Well, you get some oil in there, you turn it on high heat, you rub the oil into your wok, um, you let it go back up to temperature, then you turn it off, or you can do it in the oven. You put the oil in there, you rub the oil in there, throw it in the oven, make sure that your um, handle is heat safe, that's a big thing. Um, throw it in the oven for um, a, like 10 or 15 minutes. Hi, you ordered, how are you? No, it likes, it's nice to see you. Throw it in there for about 10 or 15 minutes just until, until like the oil bakes into your wok and then you take it out and let it cool and your pan is now seasoned and it should be nonstick, okay? Um, then never also too, the next um, big tip for wok, um, thank you so much for being here. Um, the next big tip for woks is to not ever use um, soap on it. Do not ever put soap in there because it will go back to, you know, being rusty and everything like that and it will not be non-stick so those things you would definitely want to do when you are walk cooking tonight i'm just using the non-sticks but maybe i needed to see yes you do need to season bad connection issues i'll catch the replay thank you so much yes you can definitely catch the replay for those of you who are on here and you are sticking it out through those crazy things with the you know periscope Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, and I appreciate your replay view. Thank you so much. You can still tap, 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 tap the screen and let me know that you like the content that I'm giving you. Um, Camilo, thank you so much for being here. Okay, so let's turn this around. Let's see what we're cooking here, okay? So let's turn, 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 and put this down. See, I'm using, like, the far one because it's, like, a smaller, um, I don't even know, smaller eye. <laughs> So, we got a nice color on our pork here. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm just quickly turning it about. Yes. Oh, boom. Okay. Let me make sure I plug this in because we are already running out of juice. We can't run out of juice. Girl, right? Oh, my goodness. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Okay just for one hot second on me so I can plug this in and not lose you guys. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, so we are back. Okay, there we go. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but look how golden brown and delicious that is already, okay? So I'm just turning my pork. That way we all can get some, we are equal opportunity browning here, okay? Equal opportunity. <laughs> So once this is all nice and brown, we're going to start adding vegetables. Um, we're going to take out the meat. We're going to add that. Thank you so much for being here. Please swipe it and buy it if you've already gotten here. Okay. Woo. The oil is trying to kiss me, and I don't really want to be kissed. <laughs> I don't want to be kissed by the oil. Okay. Let me move this out of the way because this is not conducive to anything that we need right now. Okay. Oh, well, thank you. Glory to God. It is he that makes me beautiful. Hallelujah. Okay. This smells absolutely phenomenal. And I think I'm going to keep this as simple as possible. I want my flavors and everything to kind of, you know, speak for themselves. And I do not want to have a sauce. Although I do have different sauces and things like that. Um, like a garlic black bean sauce. This is a really good sauce. Excuse me, you can use this with chicken, you can use it with pork or vegetables. This stuff is so, so awesome. And it's very cost effective too. And just a little bit will do you. Like a good tablespoon of this will definitely set your whole Chinese food like on fire in like a really good way. Um, another good thing to use is plum sauce. Plum sauce is what they use to kind of make that sweet and sour type um, feel and everything like that. And it's definitely made from plums. So it does have that sweet, kind of that sour taste, sweet and sour taste. So you can do this with a sweet and sour just super quick. If you want to do some vegetables and some chicken, throw this plum sauce on there over some rice. And you got a quick sweet and sour. Although I do make mine from scratch. Yes, I do. Okay, so there's plum sauce. Another big thing that you need to have in your Chinese food cooking is sesame oil. 
okay? You want to get a really good sesame oil. A little bit will do you. You do not need a lot of this. Um, just a teaspoon will go so far and it makes your foods and your rice and everything taste phenomenal. It gives it that really yummy, crisp taste of like, you know, that nutty taste. That's great. Um, another thing that's really good is chili oil, okay? This stuff will make everything super hot. Um, and it's really, really good to just even add on like your rice. Um, you can do it with vegetables, any type of um, meat or poultry or even shrimp and everything like that. Just even as like a, just an actual condiment. This stuff is awesome. Chili oil. Okay, back to our pork. Okay, we're done with that. I'm going to get a plate and I'm going to put it off to the side. Boom, okay. Take it out. We're going to add just a little bit more oil in our wok, just a little bit, so we can start sauteing vegetables. Just a little bit. And um, if you'd like to use peanut oil, you definitely can. This is not for olive oil. Do not make Chinese food with olive oil. Hi, thank you, Scotland. Yes. Do not use Chinese food. Do not use olive oil for Chinese food. That doesn't make any sense, you guys. Like, don't do that. Okay, so we're going to add our beautiful rainbow carrots. Miss Renee, rainbow carrots. <laughs> I got purple and orange here today. Yes, you're making me, of course. That's the whole point of me cooking, honey. Okay, so we have our carrots in here and we have onions. So we're just gonna take these pieces of onion and we're gonna just start breaking them up, just breaking them up. Cause you know, they're like in like triangles. Get that in there. All right, so we are just quickly sauteing them. Yes, that's awesome. The cool thing about Chinese food is that you don't have to add any extra salt and pepper. We don't have to do that. It's 3 a.m. here and get, wow. Well, I'm so happy that you're here from Scotland. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, I'm Sharon. Thank you so much for coming to my show. I really appreciate you. So, here we go. We are sauteing our carrots and our onions. Absolutely phenomenal. Oh, I missed that comment. I'm so sorry. I was doing some sauteing. <laughs> okay, so we are making sure. Woo! <laughs> Crazy onion. <laughs> Okay, so, woo, there we go. Oh, yeah, see, y'all didn't think I could do that, did y'all? Y'all didn't think I can do some tossing. Okay, so we have that together. <laughs> We're going to add a little bit of sesame oil, just a little bit. We want that nice sesame flavor. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing already. And I like color. I really love color. So I got orange here. I got purple. We got white with our onions. Okay. I don't want to break down the onions too much. I still want them to maintain. I'm going to add back my pork. Add back my pork. And I'm going to mix them all together. Mix it all together. Okay. Everything is nicely mixed. We're going to add in our green onions. Green onions. And it's already looking so beautiful. Look how pretty this is. It's not only appealing to our nose, but it's appealing to our eyes as well. Oh my gosh. If you guys can smell this, this would be like everything. Okay. Okay. Let me show you guys what this looks like close up. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful. Look how beautiful that is. My goodness. Okay, back on the heat. Woo! 
toss, toss, and toss. Okay, so we're going to let that sit for just a moment while those um, flavors gel together. All right, I'm going to do like a quick reset here. Thank you guys so much for joining. If my name is Sharon, and I've been cooking and baking for 20 years. Tonight, I'm doing quick homemade Chinese food. It is so, so simple to make a fantastic, phenomenal Chinese food dish in your home with spending just a, not even a whole bunch. I mean, like, you go out to Chinese food, and, like, you're on the night shift. Oh, awesome! You go out to Chinese food, and you're spending, like, 40 bucks. Like, this right here cost me less than $5. Less than $5. Oh my goodness. And we're going to put all of this beautiful likeness on a bed of jasmine rice. On a bed of jasmine rice. Okay, back to the food. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you haven't already, please swipe and invite for your followers. I really appreciate it. Okay, back. Here we are. Back to the food. All right. Now we're going to add our garlic. Now this is like four or five cloves of garlic. I really, really like minced garlic. Not big chunks of garlic, like finely minced garlic. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. Oh my gosh, this smells so great. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I did it again. I did it again. I did it again. Wow. Okay. I'm going to add a couple dabs of this like chili oil just because I think it's going to heighten everything. Hopefully Jason doesn't go, mommy, it's spicy. <laughs> Sorry, baby. I was in the, I was in the cooking mood. Okay. All right. So we're going to cook this just a couple minutes. We want to make sure that the garlic is not raw. There we go. All right. So everything is nicely tossed. It smells phenomenal. We have the white rice here. Let me show you guys my beautifully made white rice here. Oh my goodness. Whoa. That was some steamed rice right there. Look how beautiful. Yes. Okay, back in there. <laughs> that did something really cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, girl, how you doing? <laughs> how you doing, Leslie? Okay. So, instantly, this, this dish is done, okay? Why? We don't want to overcook our vegetables. We still want the integrity of our carrots and our onions in here. We just want the garlic to be completely cooked. All right, here we go. Look how beautiful that is, you guys. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this on a bed of white rice. Okay? I should do some plating here. Yes. Oh my goodness, I guess we should probably do some plating. Okay, let's do it. All right, you know how like when you go to like a Turn this off. We're done with you. You've given all you can give. Okay, when you go to a spot, what is that? Thank you, sis. Oh, my gosh. So, when you go to, like, a restaurant and they have, like, the beautifully portioned, like, rice and everything like that, well, what they do is they put it into, like, a mold. You know, they do, like, a mold type thing. They do, like, a mold. And then they put it on top like that you do something like that then they take the dish and they drape it on the top and on the sides and everything like that yes okay there we go some more this beautiful pork all right and then they add some more like green onions and stuff like that for the top so you can garnish and everything like that. And boom, there's our Chinese food, you guys. Side of white rice on there. 
my goodness like if you guys could just smell this oh my gosh hallelujah hallelujah what kind of pork and how do you avoid tough meat well thank you so much okay let me pull this up so you guys can see my face where's the kimchi at kimchi is japanese <laughs> Okay, and it is um you can try Turkish food. I probably would. Now, um kimchi is Napa cabbage. <laughs> true, true story. That is fermented. Yes. Yes. That's what they make. Um that's what they use for banh mi's and things like that. Okay? Like you know the banh mi sandwich. Yes, that's what they do with that. Um going back to the pork okay so the pork you want to use is a nice marbly like pork you can use a pork uh, a boneless pork loin thank you so much for joining again you water thank you so you can use a boneless pork loin and you just take like it's like a huge like piece of loin and you just cut it in like dices of course you dice it up okay how do you get it to be not so, you know, tough and everything like that. Well, you cut it against the grain, okay? So if your meat is going this way, you're going to want to cut it this way because it's against it. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, got it? So that's how you make it so that it's not tough and everything like that. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, my gosh. So any, any other questions? Pork loin is super, super cheap. You can find it in any store. Um, of course, you're so welcome. You can find it in any store. Usually it's on like a really, really good sale, like 99 cents a pound. I would always buy it up and just kind of store it in the freezer and everything like that and then take it out um, or cut it, you know, portionly, you know, for whatever portion I needed and then put it in the freezer until later use and everything like that. Thank you guys so much for the hearts. Thank you guys so much for being on here and watching and you know i just absolutely love cooking and it's so simple to make your own chinese food at home you do not need to go out and spend like 40 bucks i mean maybe you own some good ch uh, cha mein but other than that everything else you can just make on your own okay <laughs> make it on your own and you know you know that way you don't have that msg and whatnot because actually do chinese food places they do use msg so all right, I'm going to get out of here because I'm hungry and my food that I just beautifully plated is waiting for me to eat. It is so delicious and it smells so good and it's so, so waiting for me and saying, Sharon, eat me, eat me, eat me. But this pork right here, I'll eat. Mmm. Yummy. You have to do this. You have to make this. If you come back on here and you um, watch this replay, make sure you get your pencil and your and take down the, re the recipe. Seriously, that was good. Sometimes I surprise myself. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, I'm going to get out of here. This was short and sweet, but thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you, replay viewers, for watching. Hallelujah. Your votes and your thingies matter <laughs> your hearts thank you guys so much for being here i love you have a fantastic night